Hi guys, welcome back, Vikash here. Let's talk about a Linux hardened repository attached to your VM Backup and Application Server and how to use it to protect data from VM Backup for Microsoft 365. So, as of the date of making this video, it's not possible to select a hardened Linux repository as a destination to keep uh, backup data produced with VB365 and protect it, keep it immutable, keep it secure. But there is a workaround how to set it up and today I will show you that. Let's dive into it. So this is my VB365 server. It's taking backups of the services I'm using within Microsoft 365. That data is being kept local on some disks attached to the server itself. So that's nice, but I have my VM backup and application, my VBR server running here. And as you can see, if I go to the backup infrastructure, there is a backup repository. I have already set this up. This is a Linux repository, and because it's an XFS repository, it, uh, it has the possibility to keep backups immutable. And in the properties, I can go to the repository tab, and this is the option we are looking for. So if you set up that Linux server on your VBR server, connect it to the VBR server, Make sure to set this check checkbox and uh, set up the uh, specify the days you want to keep the backups immutable. So that's nice because all backups which are, I'm storing here are now kept immutable for that specified days. So let's go back to uh, a backup job and let's set up a new backup job to protect that whole server which is basically running the backup software and keeps all the data from M365, that's this machine here. I'm sure a lot of you guys have the VB365 server running as a virtual machine as well. So that makes it easy because I can set up a virtual machine job within VBR, I can give it a name, YouTube demo, give it a description as well, click on next, and now you can select that VB365 server. Just search for it in the in the box uh, here, VB365. It pops up. Select it. Click on Add. Now this job is just a regular virtual machine job within VBR, but the next step, and that's this step, will make this backup immutable, because now I can select the backup repository which is hardened, as you can see here. If I select it, set up my retention policy, click on Next. Click on next, just leave these options as, uh, as they are. And this is an important one because we want to set up a schedule because we want to have this automatically done. Set this checkbox, select set a schedule and click on apply. If you click on apply, it will ask you, are you sure? Are these the parameters you want to set up? And you can select it already to run a job. If you click finish. I already have set up a job for this. So let me go to that and show you how. So if I go to my backup for YouTube demo, as you can see, uh, this backup job has already run and it has created a successful backup of my VB365 server to that hardened repository. So that's nice. We already have this server protected on that hardened repository. Just to check, let's go to backups and disks, click on the job name you gave it and make sure that that server is there. If I now would want to delete this server, click on delete, VBR will start the delete process. But what happens is in this pop-up box, it will generate a message telling you, hey, the backup for this server is being protected and the time has not passed. So that means I cannot delete this backup. There it is. It says this backup can only be deleted after that time. So now it means that the complete server running that VM backup for Microsoft 365 software is being kept immutable, being kept protected and make sure that nothing can corrupt the backup or delete it. So that's nice. We are keeping a immutable backup on our own hardened repository now for all the data we are protecting using Veeam backup for Microsoft 365. 
So having that data on your own Linux hardened repository, that's very nice. It's immutable, it's secure, cannot be deleted or corrupted. But the next step is how would you restore something from there, right? Well, luckily we can just spin up using the instant recovery feature within the Veeam Backup and Application. We can spin up that server. It will start from that Linux repository because that's where the data is kept. Select the server, click on rest. Uh, next, you can also click on point in time if you want to. For demo purposes, let's click just on next. If I click on next, it will use the latest backup for that uh, server. I have several options here. Well, the first option, it's automatically selected, restore to the original location. That's the option you would use if that original server is broken, corrupted, deleted, or cannot be started, right? So this would create a restore job and restore that whole machine with all the software and your connections and your data for Microsoft 365. But for the demo purpose or for testing purposes, if you want to test it, I'm selecting the second option, which is giving me um, a lot of more flexibility because now I can define several settings. I can set up the server to connect to a different host, for example, or I can rename it. Let's rename it restored for testing purposes now. Click on next, leave these options here as they are. You can give it a reason, a restore reason. This is important for audit purposes, of course. And now if I click on next, it will ask me, all right, is this correct? Double check it and make sure that you don't overwrite anything you don't want to overwrite. And these two options are very important because if I say connect VM to network, what will happen is it will spin up this server using that backup data from that hardened repository and automatically connect the network. Now, if you have IP address uh, conflicts on the network, that's not nice. So for demo purposes, disconnect this VM. I'm sure that I want to power on this server because I'm doing the test, I'm sure of it. Click on finish. So what it will do, it will reach out to your hardened repository where the backup data is stored for the whole VB365 server. It will connect it to the Veeam Backup and Application Server and start the server, boot it up on your vCenter. If I go to my vCenter, I can see that there are several things being done here. The server will appear in just a moment with the restored name. Let's wait for it. There it is, as you can see. Veeam Backup and Application already created that machine on my VMware vCenter environment and it's now doing the rest of the task to start up that workload. Now, remember, this server is now running using that instant restore feature from Veeam Backup and Application with all my backup data from Microsoft 365 and it's running from that Linux hardened repository. So what's the next step? This is the production server still. Now, if I check in my vCenter server, I can see there is a VB365 server running there with the name restore. That's the one I am running from my backup environment. Let's switch back to VBR and we can see the server is running. It's running from that hardened repository. If I click on instant recovery within Veeam backup and application, I can see it's running and everything is operational. So if I go back to vCenter, I can now log into this server, this restored one. If I, let me log in here for a second. And everything is running. So the next step for me is to check if those, because I want to restore now something from this immutable backup, from this theme backup for Microsoft 365 data, because all the data is being kept on this server, as you could uh, see it earlier. So. Just make sure that the services are running. To make sure I will start the service manager within Windows and scroll down to the Veeam services because default the Veeam services are set up to have a timeout a delayed start as you can see. Well, in this case, they are already running. That's nice. That means I can now log in to the Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 console. 
click on connect and there it is. So this is my restored server running directly from that hardened repository with all the backup data from Microsoft 365 and now I'm able to just restore items as I would see fit. Right click it, click on explore, the right explorer will be launched and you will be able to browse to your backup of your M365 data. So now remember, this is everything you need to keep this VB365 environment on a hardened Linux repository, keep it protected and keep be in check of the data yourself. So thank you for watching guys. I hope this video is helpful. Of course, leave your comments and uh, I will get to them um, and try to help you out. And uh, see you later.